بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وقفا و سلام علی عباد الذین اصطفا اما بعد قال اللہ تبارک و تعالی فی الکلام المجید و الخرقان الحمید بعد اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم قد افلح المؤمنون اللہ زینہو فی صلاتہ خاشیون قال رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم لا صلاة إلا بحضور قلب صدق الله مولانا العظيم وصدق رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن ولا ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد وبارك وسلم وصل له رب الشرح لي صدري وجسر لي أمري الله يكتب من لساني يحقى القولي رب العالمين إلماء سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My most honorable brother and sister in Islam Assalamu alaikum rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Now today our topic is very very important topic How to concentrate in Salat I'll give you a few tips How to focus in the Salat So the Salat may be accepted inshallah ایسا وہ بار کا very simple simple meaning surely the momnin became successful in this world hereafter who concentrate pay full attention who concentrate who make salat with full concentration who focus there in the salat لا salat آئی لا حضور اقل حدیث پاک No Salat. If our mind and our heart is not present in the Salat, then no Salat. That Salat is not accepted. To work for Shumi, to be stand before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with respect, with full concentration, with fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala full of fear, full of love and glory of the heart, glory of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the heart and with the hope, inshallah salat will be accepted. We should cut off ourselves from the dunya and present ourselves before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What takbir tahrima? When we say takbir tahrima, we throw all planning behind our shoulder and we stand in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now there are certain prerequisites. Before starting Salat, first of all, we should make very good wudu, best wudu will bless you with best Salat. Then, we should correct our clothes. Before standing the Salat, we should fix our clothes. We don't have to Set a cloth while making the Salat. Think to yourself. Think it may be our last Salat. If we have any takaza, any need going to washroom, even Salat is ready, Jamaat is ready. Please take your washroom first. If we are very hungry, and food is ready, we should eat food. Otherwise, in the Salah, you will think about the restroom, washroom, and about the food. Don't play with the beard. If you want, comb your beard before starting Salah. Clean your nose before that. 
if you have to cough, cough before, so that we don't need to cough in the salat. Put some perfume, not too much. The next person get headache. So, if any other emergency car you have to do, please call that first. Otherwise, you will think about that car in the salat or any other emergency. Once Abdullah ibn Umar radiallahu was eating the food and Jamaat start. He did not stop the eating. He finished the food, then he joined the salat. Now, we should think Rahmat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is blessing. The blessing of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showering on me while I am making salat. The heart condition should be full of sugar. Ya Allah, you help me to come to your house to make salat. When we are in Qiyam, our eyesight should be at the place of Sijda. And in the Raku, at the feet. And when we take short, the Kada, then our eyes should be at, at your lap. In the heart, we should have thicker of the Akhira. When we read Surah Fatiha, our Sana, our, any ayat of Quran and Majid, to our, our, our love should move. We should not close that, our, our lips and read in the heart. No. We should move our lips. We should read. Lips should move, but sound should not come. After we are alone making salat, further we can make the loy jahar also. But make sure our lips move and mind should think about the meaning of the words. That is one of the best techniques. And we should read. The Quran in which is Fatiha with the read, we should not go with 60 speed one hour. Go with the read. We read to a Fatiha with the read. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, Al Rahman, like that. Slowly. Let me tell you frankly, nowadays we are making salat. There will be one minute, one rakat. What is that? At least it will be two, three minutes. It will take for one rakat. Two, three minutes at least. And we should think we are standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is listening. What we see, our angels sitting here, they are also listening. My own ear should listen. What I am saying, this way you will get least wasabas, thoughts brought by shaitan. Make sure. We are wearing the halal income food. We are eating, we ate food halal income. We are wearing clothes with halal income. Our clothes should be also according to sunnah. At least when we make sigda, our back part should not be visible. 
our kurta shirt should be longer enough it cover our back part when we do sajda pant is not good in the pant the person standing behind you he can see your private part and talk very frankly be watchful so long kurta long shirt will cover all these kind of problems before starting salat we should make dua ya allah please help me to make good acceptable salat we should read the masjid of bell before the time we should not join salat with the rush wudu and rushing in the masjid and tap 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 and all musalli who lead is making salat they hear somebody running in the masjid we don't do it in court even you lose rakat don't worry about that we should always try to make salat in early hour especially in the winter season in the summer season we may delay a little bit so especially zohar salat that weather cool down a little bit at the end of the salat we should do shukar and istighfar so mistake we made will be covered up if any vasta from shaitan come don't catch and play don't catch and play let me go give exit to the vasavasa and start thinking back on the meaning more we concentrate on the meaning on the word what is speaking the more is the concentration vasavas will not come and we should do before starting salat sab kar muraqaba ke allah is with me allah is listening to me subhanahu wa taala is very very important before salat we should listen azan very carefully also we should listen aqama very carefully we should read the masjid well before time all those things which take our concentration take away our concentration we should not keep in mind those in what keep your life very simple we should be away from listening to songs we should not see dramas otherwise actors of the drama will come in the mind in the salat minimum use of the salat at home we should very careful by use of social media the social media bad use social media we bring ghair mehr picture in our heart when we stand the salat shaitan will open that album so we have to keep our eyes away from ghair mehr we should have company of pious people of ulama ikram mashaikh uzam their company will help us to make good salat we should be very careful about tadil of arkan what tadil of arkan mean tadil mean we should give enough time 
but we to ruka for example when we go to ruku we should be at the local speed subhana rabbi al azim ek breath subhana rabbi al azim ek breath subhana rabbi al azim yes sami allah hu liman stand stand straight don't go to say that why you are not scared yet but don't stand too much after the ko finish you stand don't stand too long then go to sit down and in sit down put finger proper place and look at the nose when is a sit down and sometimes you may close the eyes and by keep opening the eye you lose concentration you may close sometimes eyes not always otherwise we will face a blind salat in the day of qiyamah now at sajda say three times or five times subhana rabbi yal ala and then come back just sit down relax then make very small dua then go second sajda then should be little interval between two sajda very little you make some dua the second at right now time is short now then go up in the same way you make other rakat also at at the end of the at the end before salah we can make a dua rabbana hab lana min azwajina wa zurriyatina qurat ayun waj'alna lil muttaqina imama it will all solve family problem the children as jawad as zawja wife or husband will become coolness of the eyes and an other dua is very important that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught himself that it will cover all problems of dunya and akhirat subhanallah rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirat hasana wa qina azab an-nar we make this dua say assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah say right shoulder and say salam angel or all brother who on the right side then wa then assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah to the left side then say right away allah akbar after finish his life say right away allah akbar it will curb it will finish that arrogance what Shaitan spoke in the heart. Oh, you make salat. You made salat. Very good. He did not make. She did not make it. Say Allah Akbar. Allah is great. I am nothing. With His help, Ya Allah, with Your help, Allah, Ya Allah, I made salat. And then, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. Say such a way with concentration, Ya Allah, forgive. what mistakes i made in the salat the allah has so merciful in the shallah he will change your mistakes in the goodness and salat will be accepted so why in the salat we should not think about any kind of planning which we are doing anything planning which we are supposed to do after the salat then we abdullah ibn barak radhi allah taala anhu he had one neighbor he was a blacksmith and he had this habit so he used to 
Here the first first word of Adam, if his hammer was up, he never brought hammer down to hit. Right where he stopped. Subhanallah. This is a kind of concentration was about Azan even. And Subhanallah. Then Abdullah ibn Barak radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he saw him, rahmatullahi saw him, very on high status in the Jannah. So, and we should think that this might be my last salat. We should think about that. And, And we should think this life is very short and Akhir is forever. And now we make dua. At the end you make dua, Ya Allah, whatever salat I made, please accept it. It is very important to do before the making salat, the starting salat, we do some muraqaba in the heart. And muraqaba will help you to make good salat. Subhanallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our salat and help us to make such salat which is acceptable. One thing very important. Before starting Salat, we should plan out what Surah I am making, reading in the first Rakat, what Surah I am re reading in second, and what Surah Sunnah Salat, what Surah I am reading in the third Rakat, what I am reading in the fourth Rakat. It will help a lot. Don't go automatically. So if you plan out this way, that first, first surah, first rakat, I make this surah, second, other surah after that, then third surah, other surah, this is where you will not forget the number of the rakat you made already. Normally we forget the how many rakat I made. So, at this way, and we should all those surahs, what we normally read in the Salat, please learn the meaning of those surahs. It's tafsir, subhanallah. And as well as I request you, please, please learn the meaning of the whole Salat. And after special du'a'i kunut, everyone should know du'a'i kunut and meaning. Then really, if you follow the instruction, inshallah, you will enjoy Salat. You will really enjoy Salat. Wa akhir damana, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin, subhana rabbika rabbil izzat amma yasifun, wa salamun ala al-musalim, wa alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. If you have some kind of question you have, please call Sheikh Hoker, 646-236-7. Zero two time is almost up. Uh, inshallah, uh, I will continue this bayan. And the last bayan of the salat will be how our akabrin Sahaba Karam, the Surah Sallallahu how he gave you to make salat. It will, and I will cover in the last next bayan. Inshallah, that's the dua. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. Kama salli ala Ibrahim wa ala ala Ibrahim. Inna ka hamidum majid. اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد. Okay, let's make dua for the people suffering from corona. My son in law is suffering from corona. Please make dua. يا الله give shifa to my my son Sajad. يا الله يا الله يا الله make all brother who was sister sick in the in the corona. Let them يا الله give them shifa كاملة. Ya Allah, give the shifai kamala. 
Ya Allah. And this is was very important. Please read this dua every day. Every dua, every salat, we should read this dua. And make a dua three times. Allahumma inna na'udhu beka minal barase wal jinoone wal jizami wa min sayyil asqam. Allahumma inna na'udhu beka minal barase wal jinoone wal jizami wa min sayyil asqam. Allahumma inna na'udhu beka minal barase wal jinoone wal jizami wa min sayyil asqam. And moreover, uh, brother and sister, to save yourself from corona or anybody sick, I give you very good prescription. It will help you, inshallah. And if anybody sick with a corona, he will be all set. He will be relieved. He will get shifa. What you do, take the water, read a lamb of time, do the Ibrahim, do the Salat, then 101 times. La Lasalaha min dunillah kashfa. Lasalaha min dunillah kashfa. Surah Al-Najm, ayat number 58. Uh, please. And then blow on the water and that the sick person re, re, drink it. And you can drink also. And in the end also, 11 times, through the Ibrahimi, wa akhru dawana, alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzata ma yasifun. Wa salamun al-musani. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Amin. Amin.